Okay, so here we're going to look at a couple different techniques for evaluating limits. Um, in one of the videos we saw you kind of factor and cancel. Another we saw was to uh, sort of expand things out and cancel things out. So here we've got two different ones. So we've got the limit as x approaches 4, 1 over x minus 1 fourth over x minus 4. And then the limit as x approaches 0 of x over the square root of x plus 9 minus 3. Uh, the first thing we're going to try to do is just what we did before, which is just uh, sort of plug things in. But if you look in the very first one, you know, if you plug in x equals 4, notice you're going to get 1 fourth minus 1 fourth, which would be 0 in the numerator. So we would get 1 fourth minus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth all over 4 minus 4, which would be 0 over 0, or an indeterminate form. And uh, so Typically, that means, hey, you can do uh, something to, to uh, you know, at least try to uh, work with it and maybe get a, 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 dis a definite answer. What I'm going to do is, you know, I've just got a lot of fractions floating around. I'm just going to just uh, basically clean up the fractions. So in the numerator, I'm going to get common denominators to group those into a single fraction. I would have to multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by 4. And then I could multiply top and bottom of the second fraction by x. So that would give us uh, 4 over 4x minus x over 4x. In the denominator, we've just got x minus 4. I'm going to write that as x minus 4 all over 1. OK, so uh, we can write the numerator now as a single fraction. Can't really do much arithmetic. But we could write that as 4 minus x all over 4x, and again, uh, leaving the denominator alone for just a moment. Well, we've got a fraction over a fraction, so what do we do in this case? Well, to divide fractions, we leave the one in the numerator alone, so 4 minus x over 4x, and then we take the denominator and we flip and we multiply. So I'm going to multiply by 1 over x minus 4. All right, so notice, um, you know, again, we're trying to simplify things down. We've got a 4 minus x in the numerator and an x minus 4 in the denominator. Those are almost the same. Notice that the signs are just opposite. So what we can do is we can factor a negative out of the numerator or the denominator. It doesn't matter. I think I'm just going to take it out of the numerator. So if I factor a negative out of the numerator, well, I would need a negative 4 and a positive x. Because if I distribute, well, we'll get our positive 4 back. And if I distribute, we'll get our negative x also back. Well, again, in the denominator, we've still got our 4x. We've got x minus 4. Equivalently, we could write that as negative 4 plus x. Again, you could think about the negative as just being a negative 1. So now um, we can just cancel out the negative 4 plus x, negative 4 plus x. And now uh, we're in a position to evaluate things. So we've got the limit as x approaches 4 of negative 1 over 4x. And now we can just plug in our value of x equals 4. And uh, then we'll have our solution. So we've got negative 1 over 4 times 4, which would give us negative 1 over 16 as our final answer.